You okay. Start the recording for our okay. Chaos Diversity and Inclusion meeting on April 29. You're good to go. Great. Okay. Well, I know we have um, a review of quite a few action items from last week, and um, then we'll obviously be looking toward next week's meeting. Uh, we're a little lightly attended because I think there's some conference events going on. Um, so we'll see how much we can get through based on uh, the smaller group that we have today. Yep. Um, let's see. Uh, I had to reschedule on Paris, actually, because last week became a very hectic week. So, um, and that, that's still in progress. And then I know Nicole is trying to organize us um, to do a call. Probably next week it's going to have to happen because of all the travel this week. So that, but I know that that talk is due, I think the second week of May. So um, that is definitely the deadline will, I'm sure, motivate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, and I took the action item to schedule that call. Um, so that'll be for early next week. Okay, I'm trying to copy all of the action items to the top. Yeah, to the no, top I'm giving you time here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we have, um, well, I think we should just close out this. Um, Daniel was going to talk to Salona. We know that Salona is not going, so I don't think there's any action item for Daniel or Salona or anything related to KubeCon. So that one Perfect. closed. Um, so in terms of the content from Emma's proposal to a Google Doc, um, can you give us an update there, Georg? Uh, I still haven't done that. <laughs> so okay, no got update. it. I, okay. And then I know you're working on the blog post, but that's probably a little delayed maybe with the event that Nicole's involved in. Yeah, I've also been very much focused on revising my dissertation, which should be done this got week, it. I hope. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, I, I think in terms of community bridge, I think the next step was Matt was going to submit it since he's, uh, you know, as a maintainer can submit our profiles. So I think that should be probably in progress with Matt. Oh, uh, yes. And then I think some of the next action items here get into um, our participation, potential participation in the Grace Hopper event. So, so, sorry, to go back on the um, community bridge, <laughs> Matt had yeah. given an update uh, last week during the general chaos community call that the form for the community bridge does not allow our domain because that community is not an approved <laughs> top level domain. So he filed oh. an issue so that hopefully they can resolve the issue and add us as a community. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, so that's ongoing, as you said. Is it something we have to change or something they're going to change on their end? I assume that community bridge has to be changed to allow our community yeah. to be entered yeah, into it. the system. Okay. Got it. So, yeah. Matt raised okay. that issue, and we're waiting on community bridge folks. OK. Um, this next action item for Matt was, this was related to Grace Hopper, correct? Yes. Yeah, and I know that Daniel and Sean provided ideas as in real time during our call. Um, yeah, I don't know whether, I assume Matt submitted it, but I don't know for sure. Okay.
Hmm. I'm curious. Oh, this is the last three was. are all about the sponsoring metric. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, we should have had, okay. That's right. Yeah, I need to be better about writing action items so that they can stand independently. <laughs> And did, were, yeah. did you have a chance to even send this out on the mailing list, Stuart? No, I did not. Okay, I thought I didn't see that. Okay. It was a very not so productive week last week, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. I know there was, I spent a lot of, you know, we both were working on that new stack article too. That is true. Okay, we'll just postpone those for next week. I think that's good because then we can give people time to maybe look at the um, email that you send out and do some of the reading and thinking about it so we can have a discussion. Um, let's see. I think that takes us to Um, I think we're actually, that takes us quite a way through the last week's items, but, but there's follow-up that's needed, obviously. Um, yep, I think we are done with the action items. I'm trying to see if yeah. we have any other agenda items for today besides determining who sends out invites for next week. <laughs> York, did you want to say anything about CASCON, or is that just all separate in that planning call that's going to be scheduled? Yes, we're going to have a separate CASCON call that um, Matt is currently collecting availabilities for. And then we'll talk about things like um, funding, sponsorship, um, where we have a prospective draft that we can work on and we're going to talk about um, the call for proposals because we need to get that out mm -hmm. um, and then maybe split up some of the tasks in organizing to see who is responsible for different things um, Questions that I have for the meeting include um, getting on the registration form for Open Source Summit in North America. So like we had it last year, when someone registers for the conference, they can tick a box to say, I also want to go to ChaosCon. And it's just part of that registration process. Mm -hmm. So those are things that I have for that meeting. Hold on, I'm just taking a few notes. Um, yeah. So yeah, and I appreciate that you're willing to help us with organizing the conference. Sure, yeah. Great. Um, uh, anything that you wanted to add to the agenda, Seth, or bring up to discuss? I don't have anything, Sean. Looking okay. for my unmute button. No, I don't. I don't have anything. I just kind of listen in on this call for the most part, and it, it okay. uh, seems like a time of the year where it's a little lighter than usual. A lot of us have yeah. lots and lots of things. <laughs> yeah. So, I have two brief things I wanted to bring up. I don't know, um, Georg. I don't know if you're on the mailing list for. Um, the Symphony Project is trying to get a DNI book club going. Are you on that? Um, I don't know how I even got added to it, but um, the Symphony Project. I know that in Emma's 
diversity and inclusion and open source mailing list, there's a conversation about starting a DNI yeah. book club. Yeah, I didn't know if it was through Symphony or through Emma's project or both. But I think it might be through Symphony though. But um I thought that was just an interesting opportunity and you know, there might be people on this working group and this project that would wanna either suggest articles or I think they're looking for people to moderate occasionally. Yes. And what, what they're going to do is um, do shorter videos or articles versus long books so that it's, you know, a little bit easier to digest and discuss on uh, a two week schedule every two weeks. Yeah, I was on Emma's uh, call on Thursday when that idea was discussed widely, and then I have oh, been great. receiving the emails. I've not read any of them yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just so thought I'm it was familiar interesting. with the idea, and I think it's a good idea. Yeah, me too. And the the on other thing that we're doing at the LF that I wanted to look to this group for some. Um, ideas and I already have some ideas from some of our different sources and things that we reference, but we are going to try to create a standardized set of um, DCI related, we call it diversity, civility and inclusion internally at LF, uh, questions that we would ask in a user adoption survey if people want to explore DCI related themes and get data on that topic. Um, We've done a few of these surveys with Node as well as Cloud Foundry and um, CNCF does a general cloud native adoption survey that doesn't look at DCI specifically, but there are a few questions that are asked um, more in the Node and Cloud Foundry survey than the CNCF one. But um, we thought it might be useful for other projects at the LF that are considering surveys that do want to ask these questions if there was a standard set of best practice questions and I know that obviously OpenStack has been really sort of pioneering in this area. So I'm going to look at their surveys again. And I just didn't know if um, I was thinking that this doesn't exist already through our group, but I wanted to ask just in case it's something I haven't seen or that's already been done. So, uh, okay, backtrack a little bit. You said it's uh, at the left diversity, sustainability, and inclusion. Right. So these would be, you know, if, right. okay. uh, yeah, if a community wants to ask about the number of, you know, women, men, female identifying, uh, you know, just the basic set of questions that you'd ask maybe for demographic data. Um, okay. It could be a so, gender, age, region of the world, you know, language, language culture, etc. Right. Yeah, the OpenStack, I saw the the recent OpenStack data already um, because we're working with them on the analysis part. Yep. Um, so they have a set of questions. In my opinion, we can improve them a little bit um, to, to use as a foundation. Then we have in within our project, um, across the different metrics, we have interview questions that can be asked. So I don't know how big or small this um, survey template that you're trying to provide to communities is going to be, but we could make it modular. And this is just, I'm spilling out ideas right now. We could make uh -huh. it modular where um, if a community says, I'm interested in learning more about mentorship in my community, then they can say, yep, mentorship questions, and then we pull in the questions we have for the mentorship metric. Or they're interested uh -huh. in uh, event metrics, then those get added. Um, or they can put those on their survey. So we don't have it compiled into one into a survey instrument. It's distributed. Right. Through, but I think it's a good idea to pull it all together. 
Yeah, I do think so too. Um, and definitely the node one did ask a little bit about mentorship and training and how, how people learn because we were really trying to gauge, you know, what we needed to do to help with the learning curve around node, but you know, whether we needed to be looking at certain languages, certain type of material, different, uh, different mediums, you know, um, how to make them as accessible as possible. And then I think some of the data that node was just trying to get was general, very demographic type, um, type of data and yeah. a little bit about language and culture and how, you know, how they learn best. Um, well, I think what we're going to do here at the LF is just start first step would be collecting what Cloud Foundry has done, what Cloud Native you know, survey looks at, which is actually they touch on it the least, and then the node survey. And then um, I'll look at the OpenStack one, but I'd love to maybe run that through this group as, you know, to help refine it and vet it and improve it as we try to develop some of these um, standard questions. I think that would be a really good idea. Um, so do you want to start this work here or come with a proposal to this group that we then look over and comment on? Um, well, we're going to kick it off in our, like an internal staff call today at the LF. And then um, why don't I see how that goes? And then from there, I think it would be something good to kick off. And I was going to be working with Jessica Wilkerson on it. And she's been involved in other areas of chaos. Yes. Um, so if it's, well received sort of internally at the LF and people like it and people are, have opinions about it, which I'm sure they will, <laughs> as you know, most people usually do have great ideas to bring to the table. Um, you know, we could then sort of, you know, kick it off within with chaos too. Okay. That sounds, sounds good. So you start in the LF, then you bring it to the working group and we can yep. revise it and suggest improvements here. Yeah, yeah, we would welcome that. And I'm yeah. assuming that maybe the new OpenStack survey is coming out this week, right? Time to their event. Uh, I, I think that was their goal. I don't yeah. Know. Okay, I'll look for it. So those are sort of the things that've been on my mind. Yeah, hey, that's super exciting. I'm looking forward to yeah. that survey. Yeah. And then I think, um, you know, if there are no other open agenda items or things that want to be added to the agenda, we probably are just looking at, you know, regrouping next week. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, to, just to know on the new stack, is there anything oh, yes. that you need to do right now? Or is there a date set? Nope. Nope, I put in the article, and that should be publishing early this week. And then I told them it would be you and Nicole doing the podcast, so they said they'd be getting in touch with you to give all the final details. Okay, so they are going to get in touch with us. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Then I know what's going on there. Yeah, then I'll see you next week. Yeah, see you next Great. week. Thank you. Okay, thank you all. <laughs> okay, thank yeah. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye-bye.